In this quick post-processing video, I will show you how you can remove hot pixels from an image if you took the time in the field to capture a dark frame. So typically, if you take long exposures, what often will show in your final images are some hot pixels, which are like red or blue, uh, yeah, some other funky colors. And what you can do to remove those normally turn on the long exposure noise reduction in your camera, which I, for example, do for my 5DSR. If I capture photos of more than one minute, I have the long exposure noise reduction active. And what this does automatically after finishing the exposure for the normal frame, it directly takes another one minute exposure or two minute, however long my exposure is, and directly subtracts the hot pixels. So I get a clean frame. So the problem with this approach is your exposure takes twice as long. And while this might work for single frames you take, it does not work if you, for example, photograph a panorama where you, each frame of the panorama is a long exposure, or if like here, you take star trails. So I'm currently working on a new post-processing tutorial about star trails, and I basically had to do exactly that, take many photos of the star trails, and then take a photo to basically remove the hot pixels later. If I had taken the approach where the camera would have done this dark frame, then I would have had many gaps between the frames. So again, if you have either a star trail photo where you take many frames consecutively without any gaps, or if you want to take a panorama where you don't want to wait in between each frame, what you can do after taking those photos, make sure that with exact same settings you put on the landscape and take another photo which is just black but not quite so if you zoom in you see there's fine noise and there are also the hot pixels this red pixel here and there would have been even more if i wouldn't have had dng conversion active in lightroom so basically what lightroom does or what the dng conversion does and the algorithm that's used to convert the raw files, it already removes a lot of hot pixels, but normally there are still some leftovers. So back to the photos. Let's just take one example photo here, the last frame, which I captured for the star trails and the dark frame. What I would do now is I apply some settings to the star trail photo, or if you have a panorama to your panorama photo. So just basic settings, what I did here, some brightness and other stuff. That's not the focus here. So I do those settings, also white balance, and then I sync those settings over. So I would basically also select the dark frame and sync all the settings. So the dark frame has the exact same settings, and that's important, the exact same exposure settings as your other image. Then I'd export those. So basically selecting both images, go to export, and here in the export dialog, I use my typical settings, which is TIFF, no compression, Pro Photo RGB, and 16 bits. And then I export those photos and the actual removal of the hot pixels, I show you now in Photoshop. So now here in Photoshop, I've loaded those two layers. So we have the single exposure from my star trail image and the dark frame. And let's just zoom in a bit. So as I said, Lightroom already did quite a good job of removing hot pixels, but you still see a few, some strange gray pixels. So the big ones, if you have like red or blue pixels, those are quite easy to remove, I think for Lightroom, for the algorithm, but also there's a lot of noise and there's a lot of little hot pixels, those grayish ones, which is not normal noise. So let's just see how we can remove it with the dark frame. So what I just do, I activate this dark frame, set the blend mode here to subtract. And yeah, let's just see the before and after. So it removes also a lot of noise, but you see here some of those gray pixels, which are just gone afterwards. So there's a lot of those hot pixels a long exposure noise, which is just removed by this simple trick here. 
before and after. So the rest of the noise that's still there, this I'll have to deal with differently with other techniques, but I just want to show you how you can use a dark frame and manually subtract the hot pixels to get a clean frame. So remember, if you're in the field, take a panorama where you have many long exposure photos. For example, if you do a Milky Way panorama or as I did, if you do star trails, just make sure in the end to also capture a dark frame, put the lens cam on, use the exact same settings and then later on post, you just go through your images and subtract it to get a cleaner image in the end.